guys welcome back hope you've been well and enjoying your week it's Thursday here and I'm coming to you with a little chat about some new base products that I got from by Terry yesterday at Mecca Maxima so I ended up going there because I wanted to get um, you know a couple of skincare bits to refill and just to have a little browse they have quite a few nice things going on at Mecca at the moment they've got the new release of the smash smashbox contour sticks um you know the pencils and um the new stiller um you know the watercolor blushes they looked awesome i tried those but they're a little bit too watery or wet i'm not a big fan of like really wet blushes um just because i feel like they take forever to blend in or something i don't know you can overdo it with those so yeah they had some heaps of great stuff there to look at and i haven't been in a while so I ended up going and here's my little bag. Um, I got two Terry products, by Terry products. And I got her con concealer, which is the, what's it called? It's the by Terry Terribly Dencellus Concealer Anti-Wrinkle Dark Circle Eye Bag Serum Corrector, <laughs> which is a mouthful. And her By Terry Terribly Dancellus Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation Firming Protector Ultra Smoothing. Okay, so I got these yesterday and I only just put them on this morning. So this is going to be my first impressions. And I was quite hesitant to try any more By Terry base products because my experience with her base products are not good. They don't suit my skin, so um, my skin is quite comfortable. It can get dry, so it's normal to dry. And um, I usually get a little bit of dryness, you know, around the nose, mainly around the nose. Um, um, maybe like a little bit here, but that's that's about it. Um, so my skin's quite comfortable at the moment, but I find by Terry base products to be quite matte, semi-matte. So I feel like they're geared for more uh people with a uh, oilier skin so when i heard there was a new release of a serum foundation that wasn't matte i got so excited um and i you know been waiting for it to come you know to australia so i think it came here like last month anyway it wasn't you know too long ago i was very excited and also i wanted to try and uh, her new densilis concealer first heard about these two new products by um Le Panties on Instagram. She's great. Um, I've mentioned her before. She's really good with, um, you know, knowledge about her By Terry products. So if you ever have um, questions about By Terry, um, she does have an Instagram account and she's really lovely. So um, ask her away. I think she'd love that. A little bit difficult actually in the fairest shades to match my skin because I found that. Um, they had more pink in them they were more of a pink base so I ended up with going with the shade for the foundation in the number two which is creamy ivory and then for the um, concealer I ended up going for number two vanilla beige with the foundation upon first application I was quite impressed I used a beauty blender a wet beauty blender and I started off with one light layer and the coverage was very minimal but um, still kind of glowy and brightening um, so I was quite impressed there and then I went on to build up um, another layer and it got better so um, second layer got better and I went a little bit heavier with the second layer because the first layer I think it was a little thin and um, it built up really nicely and that's when I could see yes I really like this foundation uh, if I could compare it to anything of my you know if any of my foundations I compare it to the YSL tint to Chiclat in the finish this one feels like um, a little bit more wet though it doesn't dry down as well as that one if you are somebody who hates powder or hates or just lazy doesn't use setting powder or any sort of powders I feel like this one's gonna be a little bit it doesn't dry down very well so um which is fine for me because i dry down my i not dry down i always apply powder i do not leave the house without powder if i'm wearing a liquid foundation this one when you're looking at it um it's got like a very light pearlescent sheen in it so it's not detectable on the face at all but 
when you come in contact you know with direct sunlight you don't see it you just see like a skin like dewy glow so it's really nice but uh, in the bottle you do see like a very fine pearlescent sheen you do have to shake this out one up well because it does break up the correct the pigments do break up from the serum you can see that it's not a runny foundation like you know all the other new ones that are coming out Dior skin nude air you know it's not like that it's um, a thicker serum it's nice and um, it's supposed to have you know some you know skincare ingredients in it but who knows I have yet to have a look at that into that but um, definitely if you you're wondering about ingredients just research Paula's choice um, blog she does great um, skincare ingredient um, listings and she's very knowledgeable about what's good and what's not for the skin I didn't feel like there was any patchiness dryness nothing um, just went on on the skin it was like literally putting on a skincare with some you know pigment in it um, and you can build it up to get sort of medium coverage so really nice I'm really impressed with it and I just love it I move on to the concealer now now this one is very unique this concealer because um, upon application under the eye it almost becomes one with the skin so um, it is very smoothing um, looking so it will smooth out um, the skin area under there um, it's not a heavy coverage I'd say it's a very uh, I say it's light to medium coverage um, if you've got quite a lot of problem under the eyes I don't feel like you're gonna you know it's not gonna cover if you're looking for something more industrial strength uh, I could definitely go for like any of the Mac Laura Mercier or you know um, the La Mer concealers this one is uh, infused with serum it's almost like putting a nice eye cream a thick eye cream under the eye although this isn't thick in consistency as you'll see it's it's just um, it's quite thin but it's not runny obviously um, but it's one of the thinner concealers that I have still is just as effective as the uh, thicker ones but it's not going to give you as much coverage as say your Le Mer and things like that it's not a matte finish again it's um quite a smoothing um, serum-y finish it's very nice so totally impressed with the both of these um, I am going to continue to just use them every day um, as much as I can and just enjoy them and um, let me know if you guys you know have tried these and what you think of them if you let us know down below um, your thoughts I hope you enjoyed that and um, I want you to enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you very soon bye